Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm in my car, I am home. I'm gonna get into this more in another video, but a lot of things have changed. I got back like a few days ago, I've been so jet lagged, and now it's like the middle of June and it's already summer, which is so insane. But it feels so good, honestly, to be back in my car. I'm just staying at my parents' house right now and I'm back in my old room for a bit. Me and Joel are currently looking for an apartment. So that's exciting news. We're moving back here. We're gonna be hopefully moving out within the next couple of weeks. So right now I just need a big summer reset because I have just been feeling really off since I got back and everything in my life right now just honestly feels like it's a mess and I feel like a lot of people could relate to that because life is ebb and flow. It goes up and down and that's completely normal but I want to reposition myself and get back on track because I just feel like this is the track and I'm all the way over here. So we're going to reset, get our life back together for the summer in this video and I'm so excited. So for the reset that we're going to do today, I created a tome and if you guys don't already know what that is, I'm going to put mine on the screen right now so you can get an idea. So tome empowers anybody to build and share compelling narratives. Tome is the AI powered storytelling format for unlocking your best work and ideas. Tome empowers anyone to build and share compelling narratives with any kind of context, text, and images, videos, 3D renderings, prototypes, live web content, and so much more. So as you can see for mine, I did the perfect reset guide summer edition. So I did the perfect morning routine step by step. I actually created this page using AI. But as you can see, I put in my own image at the bottom. AI can curate you images as well, but I just got that off Pinterest. I read this in the morning when I woke up because I needed some motivation to start my day, honestly. Next thing I'm going to do is unpack and clean. I put a photo for inspiration for myself seeing a visual like this it honestly helps me so much to be more productive and motivated rather than just like writing a simple old plain to-do list and then i'm going to do my daunting to-do tasks i got ai to write this for me so i can read it before i do them because i'm gonna need some motivation i also need to run errands as you can see i put in these images just so that there's no text i can see what i need to do by the images next thing i want to do is vision board and goals you guys know i love doing these for every season so of course i'm gonna do that that. and I put a cute little motivational quote here. I'm also going to do my summer bucket list. I really just want to write out my summer bucket list this year because it gives me more incentive to actually do stuff. I got AI to write this one for me as well. And then last but not least, self-care. I actually made this on my laptop, but I easily just transferred it onto my phone and it perfectly transfers onto it so that this way when I'm out and about, I can just take my phone and see my reset guide. So what I need to do next. And I am like a geek for aesthetics and how something functions. I have no complaints about this like this is an amazing platform it was so easy and fast to use since the ai is there assisting you tome is amazing because it can be used for anybody you can probably seamlessly incorporate it into your life as well you can use it for work you can use it for school you can use it in your daily life like i'm doing i feel like i'm going to use it for so many things like planning my videos i just have so many ideas of already what i want to use it for i would definitely recommend checking them out link is in the description of course so we're going to start cleaning um i just filmed the intro in my car i was going to go out but i just decided not to because i want to get the cleaning done first but if i'm completely honest i've just been in this like like i was saying like this limbo space because we're trying to look for a place but nothing seems to be working out and i know that the universe has a plan for us for me and joel and it's just been really hard content wise in this house and i'm not saying i'm not grateful to be living in my parents house for now because i am but when you're living with five other people and there's constantly noise going on like there's chaos it's really hard for me to be motivated to film content and get things done essentially and i'm 23 years old i've been moved out and now coming back here in like a space of limbo because we can't find a place right now it just feels really weird because I don't know what to do in terms of like putting my stuff away. In a few weeks, we could be packing up and moving. So it's like that makes me not want to put the effort in to clean. But I feel like I just have to live more in the moment and be more present with myself and be like, okay, right now, 
you don't have a place like you're living in in your parents house and that's okay and i'm just having a hard time mentally doing that because i'm just like waiting to move out again but like i said the universe hasn't been providing us with anything and we're really trusting in that because we went to go view a couple places and they just haven't worked out for us unfortunately and it's pretty disappointing because obviously we want to move out as soon as possible and be on our own again because that's when my content thrives that's when i thrive but i just want to be more raw going forward on my channel and stuff and be more open with you guys yeah so like i said i'm just gonna try to be more present and start just like putting my things away because i am here for the meantime so let's get our first thing done even though i've been procrastinating this all week Here is all the laundry that I have to do. My suitcase is now empty, which is good. And then all this over here is just stuff that just needs to be put away because it wasn't worn much or it's just like clean. So this is stuff to be put away. And then in the closet, this is a whole bin full of more laundry. <laughs> so we have lots of laundry to do, which I should get started on. But before I do, I'm just gonna unpack my little carry-on to make sure that there's nothing else in there that I wanna wash. And then we'll go do some laundry. So I'm pretty happy with what I did so far. I just kind of cleaned this whole area here and I'm just gonna go in now, put a couple more things away and then I'm gonna put my swimsuits back up on the top shelf cause they go up there. And then I'm just gonna reorganize my sweatpants here just cause it's not giving right now. And I'm also gonna kind of just reorganize my pants here. So let's do it. I'm currently in my parents car right now um, it's like their van and I'm in here because my car wouldn't start because I have not used it for three months and I just got back my battery is like really bad and whenever I don't use it for a while it just dies but in the meantime I'm driving my parents old van but yeah so we're gonna start our errands I was gonna book a nail appointment but for some reason I'm being called to do like press on nails because I feel like I've never given press on nails like a fair chance and I also didn't book a nail appointment I'm gonna do that and then when I'm home I'm gonna order some stuff online but I really want to get the elf brow gel because I ran out and it's like my holy grail and then while I'm out I'm just gonna get like a cute little green drink like something healthy because I feel like I need to rejuvenate myself I also need to go to the mall quickly because I need to inquire about my phone something happened to my phone where I don't know if you guys can see the camera but it won't let me do like a zoom out or zoom in three times like it's really weird I got like an error message thinks that my camera is like 
inputted by me so it thinks that i took out the original iphone camera and i put a new one in so it's giving me the error and it won't let me use my camera properly which is really annoying so i need to take it to the apple store and figure out what's up and i like updated it restarted it and it still says the same error so it's been really annoying because i had this issue when i was in europe as well and i just couldn't use my camera properly which really sucked but okay let's go in shoppers drug mart see if they have a stocked elf section i really hope that they do because a lot of the times all the products are sold out so i hope this is a little bit successful but okay let's go in and see what we can find Okay, so I got a couple exciting things at the drugstore, but I'll show you guys a haul when I'm home But I just got to the grocery store because I decided instead of like buying a green juice I just kind of want to make one I actually want to make this a goal for the summer to start just like juicing more often to get my greens and Fruits in, just because I feel like it's such a good way where I'm so inclined to drink it because I love green juices And as long as I keep stock of like vegetables and fruits in my house, like I will make the juice it's just a matter of me honestly not being lazy because it's a lot of work to make juice you know fresh pressed juice does not come easy but my dad has a lot of like kale in his garden right now since i am at home for the time being may as well take advantage of that yeah so let's go into the grocery store and i think i just need to basically get apples let's go the apple store to see if they can take me today but they're super busy so i just made an appointment so i feel like i can still scratch that off my to-do list because at least i like inquired about it now i'm gonna head home that was a successful errand run and we're gonna make some green juice i'm actually really excited <laughs> I just cut up the vegetables these are all the apples that i just bought that i'm going to use for the juice and then i just went to go pick all this from my dad's garden so nice fresh kale and spinach look how big these spinach leaves are it's actually crazy and then we also have a bunch of carrots that i'm going to put in as well but i think i'm just going to do apple spinach kale carrot juice maybe i'll add some ginger if we have but yeah this is the type of juice that i'm going to make Time to do a juice taste test. I did not taste it at all when I was making it, so I hope it's sweet enough because sometimes I make it and then I taste it at the end after washing and putting everything away and I'm like, shit, it kind of sucks. Like it's not sweet enough, but I did put a lot of apples and carrots in here, so I feel like it'll be fine and it looks really good. Like you can kind of tell by the color of a juice if it's gonna be sweet or not. And this one's not too dark green, so it should be fine, but I still wanted to do a little taste test. That's really good. Honestly, a good healthy green juice in the summer is like the best thing ever because you're getting your nutrients in You're getting your greens in that I feel like are kind of hard to get in otherwise but The only thing about juicing that sucks is when you make it fresh like this It only lasts like a couple days in the fridge before like you don't really want to drink it anymore because it'll get old really fast I don't know about freezing it actually. I feel like you can probably freeze it That would be something to look into actually But that would be smart if you like did a huge batch of it and then you froze some of it and then just like take it out as you go I feel like that would actually really work. Nothing healthy is like really easy anyways okay so now i just wanted to sit down because i want to create a summer bucket list and share some ideas with you guys of what to do this summer because i feel like you can do a lot of things in your hometown like it's not like you need to travel in order to have a fun summer summer bucket list 2023 something that i really feel called to do at some point is go somewhere like really naturey and just like detox from social media i feel like that would be so nice and grounding i'm just gonna put here nature 
social media detox i'm gonna put road trip because i feel like there's always an opportunity for that sometime in the summer even if it's planned like super last minute and road trips are always so much fun um i'm also gonna put take lots of photos because i want my instagram to be popping this summer so i'm definitely putting that a part of my bucket list and it's also really fun to go out and take some photos with your friends in the summer like it's actually something to do and you can get really creative with it um i'm gonna put do art and crafts like whatever that looks like i love setting up a table outside in the summer and do like a girl's painting night one year we even painted tote bags just like doing something fun like that outside like in the evening is the best vibe it's something to like get you off of your phone as well which is really nice okay next thing i just thought of doing is having a picnic that's such a cute vibe like if you get dressed in cute dresses you and your friends can all like bring something to the picnic or your significant other it'd be just like a really cute idea to do like by the lake or something next thing i want to do is a hike i honestly don't really go on much hikes but i literally live in vancouver where you could do the most hikes and i feel like i want to take more advantage of that this summer i'm gonna put have a fire because it's such a vibe like we have a fire pit in the back here and it's such a vibe to like invite friends over and just kind of like have a cozy fire night and roast some marshmallows or something so if you guys have like a fire pit or your friends do it's so fun oh i'm gonna put drive in movie theater because that is always such a vibe and the minivan that i was driving today is so perfect for that but if you guys have one near you i would definitely suggest doing that with your friends or for a date idea that would be really cute um i'm gonna put beach days because that's just like an obvious one i'm gonna put boat ride because i've never been on like a summer boat ride before and i feel like that would be so much fun i'm gonna put make summer jewelry because i feel like that's such a cute vibe it's similar to like the arts and crafts but if you were to just like get some supplies from michael's or something like a craft store and lay it out with your friends and you just can make necklaces and bracelets i feel like that's so cute and like wear them throughout the summer i used to do that all the time when i was younger but i haven't done that in a while and i feel like that would be fun next i'm gonna put escape room i know you can do that any time of the year but i don't know i just feel like that'd be a fun summer thing to do as well i'm gonna put watch the sunset at a beach Ooh, i really want to do a lot of thrift shopping this summer and find some cool pieces i've been like craving to go to the the thrift store recently i'm gonna put fresh juicing i already talked about that before but i just want to do it more this summer i'm also gonna put homemade ice cream because i don't know if you guys have heard of the ninja creamy but it's like this ice cream machine on tiktok that went viral that you can basically make like anything ice cream so if you put like fruit in there you just like leave it sit and then it turns it into ice cream which is super cool yeah that's everything i can think of for now that my list is not like too long but i feel like it's very tailored to what i want to do but yeah that's my cute little summer bucket list 2023 hope this gave you guys like little ideas and i feel like it's not to the point where i wrote too many things were just like super overwhelming because i've made those lists before and then i just don't do anything on it because it's like too many things but i feel like this is very attainable so yay we are gonna now start self-care for the evening and then after i'm done my self-care i'm gonna do like my goals and everything like that but i just wanted to quickly show you guys my skincare routine that i've been doing doing your skincare every single night is self-care is taking care of yourself i think one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that self-care is gonna look different for everybody like whatever it is it's always important to incorporate some sort of self-care at least once in a while i've been loving drug elephant lately so i've been using their cleanser and like their whole skincare line um next i'm just gonna use their proteiny power peptide recircus serum i honestly you guys i cannot wait until we have our own place again i honestly didn't know how nice it was to, like have my own space until like i lost it and when we get our apartment our next place I'm gonna be so much more grateful for just like having our own space because I definitely took that for granted And I didn't realize how lucky we were to have that. All right now I'm gonna be going in with the intensive hydration serum drunk elephant as well But I definitely realized that in my videos recently I have not been like as personal with the camera I don't know. I just feel like my videos have become a lot very surface level and I want to change that moving forward and I want to make sure that I'm like being 100% authentic and being true to myself on here and just like sharing more things with you guys and not being so surface level because I feel like that's how you really connect and so that is like something that I've been thinking about lately that I've been like missing in my content so I'm going to make an effort to incorporate more of my personal side on here going forward next I'm just going in with the whipped cream by Drunk Elephant and then their luxury marula facial oil just a couple of drops of that in here but yeah also i feel like i used to make a lot of like spiritual content like i used to incorporate a lot of spirituality into my videos 
and I have been lacking that as well recently so I definitely want to start incorporating that in my videos again and getting back into doing more spiritual content in a way I love the content that I'm making now but I kind of just want to start incorporating like more spirituality into it I'm excited for the moving vlogs as well that are to come because moving vlogs are like my favorite things to film because they're just so fun and I'm so excited to do another moving series so I'm just going to be going in with their eye cream I've been kind of struggling with eczema on like the two corners of my neck here for some weird reason but I've been using the La Roche-Posay Cisaplast Bone B5 and I actually bought this in Europe because they had like a jumbo size and they don't have this size here so I had to stock up on it. This is supposed to be really good for like eczema and dry skin so I've been putting this on every night and I was so happy to find it because everywhere here in Canada it's basically like sold out. This is the one that went viral on TikTok so that's why it's all sold out. Then I'm just gonna go in with some Aquaphor on my lips and then I also like to apply it to the dry patches of my face on the side here with my eczema because it really just helps like slug it and lock it in for the night. My dog literally chewed my aquifer so it's like mangled right now. <laughs> but anyways, that is my little nightly skincare self-care routine. I don't do face masks every night. I honestly don't even have any face masks right now. Oh, let me show you guys. Hold on. I totally forgot to show you guys the haul that I got earlier. So I got the e.l.f. brow lift as the last one left, so I was so lucky. I really like this. The only thing is it doesn't stay as long as I would want it to, but it does a good job at like putting the brows up. I got these nails. Um, I don't think I'm going to put them on tonight, but just for the future when I want to do my nails. And then I also got this the Roche Posay sunscreen 50 SPF. I've never tried it. I've heard amazing things. So since it's summer, I'm like, there's no better time to buy this. And I don't have a sunscreen that's 50. So I hope I like this one because I've been trying to find like a good sunscreen that's over 30 SPF. So I'm really excited to try this. I'll update you guys on how I like it. Now is time to write down and kind of just like reflect on my previous goals that I made for spring because I've been kind of doing it like season seasonally now. Personally, I just like feel so much more driven and better when I make goals for myself and when I am working towards something. It doesn't even have to be anything like physical. It could be like a mental attribute like, oh, I want to be more happy on the day to day. Um, when I have something to work towards, it just makes me feel a lot better and like I have more purpose. But yeah, so I'm just going to open up my Notion right now and do that. The sky is your limit. Like you can do anything you set your mind to and I can't stress that enough. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve as long as you don't quit. Like if you have a dream and you think it's way too big for you, like you think you can never do that, that is wrong because you can do literally anything you set your mind to and as long as you just keep persevering you're gonna get there so i just finished writing out some goals that i have for this summer i'm not gonna go too into depth with it because obviously my goals are gonna be different than your goals uh, i will give you guys a couple of mine so my first one is to get back into a gym routine because i've just been so out of whack like i said before with everything and what makes me feel good is being in a routine and i just want to get back into it next thing is i want to start eating healthier and avoiding foods that are bad for my body because when traveling i was just eating whatever so i really just want to get back into eating what makes my body feel good another goal this summer is i want to spend more time outside and really just like soak up and enjoy the nice weather while it lasts here and then as i was saying earlier another one of my goals is to be more personal in my videos especially when we have our own place again i can't wait to make more content in the future is gonna be so good so if you're not already don't forget to subscribe another one of my goals is to tune more into my spirituality because that's when i thrive another one of my goals is to post more short phone form content i feel like that is always my goal but i need to get better at it but yeah so those are some of my summer goals that i have for this season i really encourage you guys to make some of your own it's just such a good thing to motivate you to reflect on if you feel lost you can have this to work towards so now let's make our vision board like usual i'm just gonna go on pinterest and pick out what images i want my summer to look like and put that all into a vision board and then slap it on my phone wallpaper or my laptop wallpaper so that i'm seeing it often and that is so it re-inspires me a lot
this is how my vision board turned out i love it so much it's so cute i'm gonna set it as my laptop wallpaper but yeah this basically just kind of puts together what i envision my summer to look like but yeah i love it it's so cute thank you guys so much for watching i hope you had fun resetting with me for summer please let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see from me and i'm really excited to make more like personal content moving forward if you don't already go follow me on instagram tiktok Everything is linked down below. Hope you guys have an amazing day and let me know down below what you guys are gonna do this summer. And I will see you guys in my next video.